Artificial intelligence for IT operations, or AI ops, is a term coined by Gartner to describe a class of technology that utilizes machine learning and big data to enhance IT operations. It works by ingesting data points from devices throughout your network and analyzing them with machine learning models in real time that have been trained to look for specific use cases. Harvesting the power of artificial intelligence, AI ops can correlate information between your devices to not only find issues on your network, but also make prediction about potential issues before they even occur. In this video, we'll explore what AI ops is, as well as the five components that make up the system. We'll also look at practical examples of how AI ops is being used today, as well as what to look for when searching for a solution. If you don't have time to sit through the entire video, feel free to jump to the time spot that interests you. But before you do, please take a moment to hit like down below to give me a boost in the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe if you want to see more cybersecurity and tech related content. For anyone that has worked in IT, you know that triaging and finding issues can be extremely difficult and time consuming. Complaints from users can often be vague and require a long series of troubleshooting steps that are different depending on the use case. Each network brings its own unique series of questions and must be chased down and answered by operations. Oftentimes, these triaging steps are a time-consuming process that feel more like a process of elimination than a scientific method. Ideally, IT would have the answers to these questions in real time so they can make an informed decision about where the problem is and what to do next. And not only for the use case in question, but also for potential other issues that they commonly see in the field. While current IT monitoring tools provide notification of obvious issues, they lack the intelligence and contextual awareness that is required to answer complex problems. AI Ops aims to solve these problems by using artificial intelligence. Event and telemetry data from devices throughout your network are run through many different scenarios and models to provide the answers to these triaging steps in real time. If you saw my previous video on machine learning, you know that there are several different methods by which a system can learn and make decisions. In AI ops, the learning method is typically the supervised model of machine learning, which means that the system has to be trained to what to look for and how to score various data points that it receives. In IT operations, there are a countless number of use cases that we have to train the system so that it can effectively find and remediate issues as it sees it go through its models. While machine learning is at the core of the intelligence in AI ops, we still need to ingest and normalize thousands of different data points throughout our network. And that takes us to the second major part of our system, which is big data. A typical network consists of many data points that can come in the form of syslog, netflow, config changes, and other telemetry types. This leads to a massive amount of data that must be ingested, stored, and retrievable. At its core, this is what AI ops is looking to achieve turn hundreds of thousands of data points into information that can be used to make a decision in real time. The hope is that this would lead to not just finding and remediating issues quicker, but also finding issues before they are even noticed by the end user. Gartner defines five major functions of an AI ops system that we should review. Ingestion, topology, correlation, recognition, and remediation. The big data component of the system will ingest index and normalize events from devices throughout the network. This spans across multiple devices and vendors to grab data and telemetry from the devices on your network. These events can be as simple as config changes, syslog messages, SNMP alerts, NetFlow, and other types of telemetry data. And as you look for an AI ops solution, this step is a critical part to consider as you want to make sure that your devices can be integrated and supported by the system. The more data points supported for your device, the better. That means that a system that supports syslog, SNMP, and NetFlow is gonna have a better context than a system that only supports syslog for that device. Gartner also calls out two points that the ingestion function must perform, which is to allow real-time and historical analysis of stored data. Both of these functions are critical to other components of an AI ops system that we'll review later. The topology function relates to the discovery and mapping of an IT asset, including hardware and software in the environment. This goes beyond just knowing about the device, but also extending out and building relationships between device. The same is true for a human that begins to troubleshoot a potential issue. Having a topology view helps them understand the context of the issue between the end user and the resource they are trying to access. 
With data coming in and relationships between devices established, the next function is to correlate the telemetry data between devices. That means the relationship is understood between the various assets on your network and how they relate to the network at large. For example, a business critical application that is used by third party contractors might not have a relationship to the end user that works in sales. However, their access to invoices may be critical. For that business group, correlating information between all systems involved in that specific flow is crucial. This includes endpoints, switches along the path, routers, firewalls, and servers that could all be problematic and require further investigation. Once we have our data, understand the relationship of the devices in our network and the correlation of how data and devices are involved for the given use case, the next function is what Gartner called recognition. This is where issues are detected or predicted based on the machine learning training that has been given to the system. This will undoubtedly be the most important component of the AIOps platform, and it's really the intelligence that varies greatly depending on the vendor. In a supervised learning model, the system is trained for specific use cases to look out for. That means that the system is only as good as the models that it has been trained on. Because each vendor will have its own models and use cases that need to be trained, every product can vary greatly from the next. And as we see this field evolve before our eyes, you'll notice that there are some platforms that may be cloud heavy, while others are focused on more traditional network routing. This is where you'll need to have a firm understanding of what you're looking to achieve in an AI ops platform, and then proof of concept it to make sure it works in your environment. Ultimately, the recognition function, just like any other machine learning model, is about making a decision based on the data and training that it has received. Based on the decision or prediction that the system has made in the previous step, the last phase is to actually do something with that information. This is where the remediation phase either makes a recommendation based on the situation or automates a response to an external system. While it's unlikely that most customers will offer full automation in the beginning, a more likely scenario is that a trigger alerts the network teams on its findings for a human resource to make the final decision and decide on the appropriate next steps. AIOps is not a set it and forget it model, but on the contrary, it's a system that relies heavily on learning and improving over time. This means that there will be potential for a lot more false positives in the beginning and hopefully more accurate decisions and predictions over time as the system has learned and trained via the supervised learning model. The AIOps market is still incredibly new and most centers are just now beginning to scratch the surface of what's possible with artificial intelligence. Over time, we should expect to see more and more use cases covered as vendors introduce new training into their machine learning models. As you consider the landscape of potential solutions, here are some questions that you may want to consider. Does this solution ingest data from all of my major IT assets? If so, what are the event types that are being supported? How well does this solution integrate with my current processes? In other words, how can this speed up my current triaging steps instead of it being another tool that IT uses when troubleshooting? What is my use case? What use cases are covered by the solutions machine learning training? What kind of proactive predictions can be expected? Well, that does it for this video, guys. And as always, I hope you found it informative. If you've received any value from this video, and my hope is that you did, please take a moment to hit like if you haven't already and subscribe so you can stay on top of our latest releases. Until next time, this is Andy with the CISO Perspective and see you on the next one.